for this tutorial, you are going to need two pencils and some yarn. So to start, we're just going to need one pencil to start um, and cast on. So first thing you're going to want to do, take your yarn and pull for like a foot or two. Um, and then you're going to make a slip knot. So to make a slip knot, a way I like to do it is I like to grab the yarn and twist it like so. Stick my finger and my thumb in there, la la la, and grab, and then just pull that through. Oh no, my pencil! Okay, so slip knot. You can rewatch that again if you want to learn to make another one. Or I'll do you one better. I'll do it again. So grab between your fingers, twist, ta-da, and pull one through. Okay. Um, now you stick your pencil through that slip knot that you made and just pull it tight using your thumb and index finger or two hands or whatever. Um, then you're going to take the yarn, um, the yarn that's not connected to the big ball of yarn is going to be closest to your body and the yarn that's connected to the ball is going to be far away from your body. So once you do that, you're going to grab it with your three fingers and leave your index finger and your thumb free and then stick your index thing finger and your thumb through the two strands of yarn. So this means that the yarn that's connected to the ball is over your index finger and the yarn that's connected to nothing is over your thumb. So once you get to this point, you're going to take your finger and your thumb and you're going to just let them recline like so. It's a really enjoyable morning for your thumb and your finger. They're just chilling. So then you're going to take the pencil, come under the sloop right under this piece of yarn that's right on the outside of your thumb. Woohoo! And then come over this one that's attached to your index finger and then just back through right here. So I'll show you again. I'm gonna go under right here by your thumb, over this one right here, and through that loop. And then I let my thumb go and then I use my thumb to pull that through. So I'll do that one more time. Under this thumb, over this one by the finger, and then back through this loop. So this cast on, just for your personal edification, is called the long tail cast on. Um, but yeah, so one more time, under, and I'm just pulling it with my finger because it's a little grippy up here where the wood has been shaven, over and through. Okay, so I'm going to cast on a few more, and I suggest you do the same so that you can get the feel of it, get some practice in there. Wee! Okay, cool. Good game. Okay, so now we're going to get to the knitting part using two pencils to make something other than coloring. Okay, so we're going to turn our work so that the yarn is over on the right side. This yarn that's attached to nothing, just toss it to the side. Don't cut it, but just move it out of the way because now we're just going to be working with the yarn that's connected to the ball. So let's bring our other pencil in. Hi red, hi white, blah 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 blah. Okay, enough introductions or reuni reunifications, reunited, and it feels so good. Okay, so uh, I'm holding it in my left hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to I liked, I'm going to show you how to do it 
using throwing. I don't usually knit this way. I'm a continental knitter, which you don't need to worry about that right now. I'm just going to teach you how to throw. Or English style knitting? I don't know. Anyway, so you're going to take the white and you're going to stick it through right here. And it's going to go through, let's let that focus, just one part of the yarn. So there's only one strand of yarn looped around it. And it's sharing a little home in here with the red one. Just, just sharing a little home. Okay, so now you're going to take the yarn that is attached to the ball. And you're going to wrap it counterclockwise around the white pencil and then you're going to use the white pencil to bring that through and then you're going to push it push the loop off of the red pencil so again go through like so wrap or wrap around and then pull through like that Yay! White on white was not my best idea. Sorry about that, people. And again, wrap around. And notice how I'm pulling this and giving it a little bit of tension so it helps when you're trying to pull it through the loop. It helps it actually come through. Um... So yeah, this is how you knit using pencils. So notice it is a little bit grippy on this shaven part. Uh, so you could use pens instead so it doesn't get stuck there or needles, but that's not fun. I'll have a boring video later where I actually use the knitting needles, but yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for joining and have fun knitting with your pencils.